What's up Lycans? Today we're going to take a look at Tuck or Took or however you want to say his name, his best perks and some tips on the best ways to play him. Before we dive into that, if you're enjoying the content then please consider a free subscription. Uh, the channel growth has been absolutely amazing lately so let's keep that up. Let me know below in the comments if you play your Tuck in a slightly different way or a completely different way. Uh, if you find this guide useful, drop a like. I also stream over on Twitch at Like and Ollie, so head on over if you want to see some live HUD gameplay. So, let's get into Took. I'm going to call him Took for this video. I don't know why, I've called him Took every time in the past. To be honest, I'm just going to stop saying his name. Um, <laughs> I found his perks to be the trickiest to choose between out of the classes I've done so far, to be honest. Um, he's an extremely useful and powerful character to have on your team maybe a touch overpowered from uh, from my experience with him and fighting against him uh, what I've decided to do with this guide is to go over the perks I use but also talk about some alternatives you can throw on just to try out see what fits your your gameplay first off my personal preference is pastoral aid uh, with a perk we'll talk about later all this really does is give you faster winching but I found that to be majorly helpful when you find yourself in a really tight game over the winch uh, this perk is also great while you're leveling up tuck as you get it really early on and it also stops you getting affected negatively by your own gas grenades which is huge uh, as an alternative you can run innate insight when you get it uh, this perk makes it so you spawn with your ultimate ready and will also make your ultimate reveal players that are crouching. It is a solid perk, uh, see what works for you, but I personally run uh, Pastoral Aid. Secondly, I run Medicinal Potion. It took me a while to figure out how to say that, but here we go. This perk turns your gas grenade into a healing grenade that affects you and your teammates. Um, I've used this so many times to help win fights. It's insane, it's great recovery uh, for getting your HP back up between engagements at the winch. While you're leveling up, throw on Roman Monk just for a bit of extra crouch movement speed. But as soon as you get um, Medicinal Potion, throw that on. So his third perk, this for me was the hardest to choose from. And I did do a little playing around here just to see which one I preferred. Um, I just went through each one as I leveled up, but I ended up sticking with Harrowed Scar. But let's take a closer look at all three. Sustained growth will make your light attacks and sprint attacks do more damage, but at a higher stamina cost. So this is what I've got up on screen now. Um, it doesn't seem to be a major boost to damage or a major boost to stamina consumption. Uh, just throw it on while you're leveling up, just, just because, why not really? Harrowed Scar gives you a massive damage boost while your HP is full, and it seems to be a big one at that. Obviously this relies on you keeping yourself at full HP, which is a lot easier once you hit level 10. Um, the damage bonus to light attacks and sprint attacks is more than what you get with sustained growth but you lose this as soon as you take any damage whatsoever uh, this perks my personal preference as you can quite easily stay at HP with your ultimate and medicinal potion equipped but this is you can only get that really at end game when you hit level 10 lastly we have vampiric bludgeon uh, this skill heals you for a percentage of the damage you deal um, I haven't messed with this too much in PvP as I've always ran with Harrowed Scar, but the healing does seem to be a decent amount. Um, I'm going to mess with this perk a little bit, but I think I'll end up sticking with Harrowed Scar as it suits my playstyle a little bit more. Um, Vampiric Bludgeon becomes a bit useless if you're getting one shot by a John or you're getting headshot by a Marianne or a Robin. So I tend to stick with Harrowed Scar as it at least gives me that little bit of burst damage when I open a fight. When it comes to gameplay, Tuck is a bit of a beast, so let's take a look at a few tips and tricks for actually playing. Firstly, is when to use your ultimate. Um, I've been in 1v1s against Tucks, and they've popped their ult mid-battle. It's not the best strat in my eyes, as you can still take damage while your uh, animation locked. The best use for his ult i found is using it to recover your team between fights. I tend to save mine for an area around a fight, or when I arrive late and rush in. I'll pop it to clutch heal up my teammates who are already locked in a battle. Secondly, lock on is your best friend with Tuck. You absolutely have to use it. 
uh, practice locking on and off while you're battling trying to do this quickly um, if you stay locked on it's really easy to get behind you to assassinate so practice uh, toggling that lock on on and off always always lock on before using your heavy attack when you use your sprinting attack a good tip is to hit heavy attack and then lock on a fraction of a second after this will make your sprinting attack track to an enemy I like to play my Tuck quite aggressively, but be careful with this. He's not quite as tanky as John and can't quite hold his own against multiple enemies as well as John can. Learn your limits on what you can do and you'll be golden. Your best bet is to get used to the range of his heavy attack and always keep out of melee range of other players. Don't underestimate Tuck's light attack. It's got a huge arc on it that can hit multiple enemies at the same time. So don't just spam his heavy attack. And onto that, with his heavy attack, you can use two before you run out of stamina. What's a bit broken with Tuck is you can hit a second heavy attack before enemy players get a chance to recover. So if you land that first heavy attack, always move a touch closer because they'll stagger backwards and then hit them again. You'll kill anyone if you land both hits, unless John has got the higher HP perk on. Keep an eye on your lock on, and you'll see a yellow crosshair that appears when you're locked onto someone. When the white diamond appears in the middle, you're in range for a heavy attack. I try to stay doubled up with other players and being able to break people's block with my heavy attack from such a range is an absolutely brutal combo for your teammates. And that's it for now. While I was playing him, he was not my favourite if I'm honest, but he does absolutely destroy when you get used to him. He had the toughest learning curve of all the characters I've played so far, but he is majorly rewarding once you do learn how to play him. Let me know below if you play your talk any differently to me. I hope you find this guide useful and please consider a free sub if you want to see some more HUD content. For now guys, take it easy, stay safe and we'll see you next time.